Um, so I'd read, uh, Anne, uh, that uh, while we talk about pediatric patients, children doing very well when they get COVID, meaning they don't need hospitalization as often and they, they rarely die, what about newborns? What if a newborn gets COVID? That's a good question. Um, maybe I'll flip a bit to the pediatric data so far. Um, again, there's been, uh, you know, every day almost, it seems that there's new reports uh, of uh, uh, the clinical symptoms or, or how how does this infection act in children uh, and again the grand majority of the data that's come is reassuring in the sense that kids actually don't seem to uh, be too sick with COVID-19 uh, compared to other older groups as you've mentioned in your However, there's very little data on the on actual newborn. So for, for us in pediatrics, we consider a newborn uh, within the first 28 days of life. So there's there's very few reports of the uh, case series. So the, the, the studies that have looked at these pregnant women that were positive uh, during pregnancy, uh, their newborns were not sick and, and there was, um, you know, if any, infected. And so none of these children uh, developed significant symptoms. So it's hard to say at this point. I don't think we have the answer. It, there, there hasn't been any any real reports of, of newborns having severe disease at this time. Right. And I actually read, I, I know the CDC just released their numbers, I think yesterday, uh, and it was up until March 20, March 16th, rather. Uh, and the numbers in the United States, there was, I think, in the range of 123 uh, children under the age of 18 who had developed COVID and none of them died and none of them needed an ICU or a ventilator, which is excellent news. We don't know how many of them were infants or newborns, but uh, very good exactly. news from the United States so far. Obviously, as the numbers increase, that could change a little bit, but uh, we're still very hopeful that children who develop COVID do very, very well. 